Hello guys, my name is James, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Episode 3 of Moon Knight begins with Arthur leading a large caravan of people into Egypt. Using the scarab, he gets a fix on Amit's tomb and doubles his efforts to get there before Stephen. Meanwhile, Stephen, who's now Mark if you'll remember, scrambles to find the location of the tomb himself. Noticing his reflection in a knife, Stephen urges Mark to stop and seemingly takes control of his body again. It's only temporary though. And Mark soon wakes up in a taxi bound for the airport. Naturally, he blacks out again and after chasing one of the goons, there's a further blackout as Mark comes to and finds a knife plunged in the chest of a man. Mark believes this is Stephen's doing but Stephen urges him to listen and see the truth. There could well be a third in control here, but we'll have to wait and see. With very few answers right now, Kanchi uses his magic to cause an eclipse in order to attract the attention of the gods. A secret entrance opens and in doing so, gains transport from Mark to head inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. Inside, they find Horus, Isis, Tefnut, Osiris and Hathor there, ready to hear Kanchu's account. Arthur also rocks up not long after, and encourages the gods to see how unhinged Kanchu actually is. Not only that, he points out Stephen has multiple personality disorder, turning the gods against him. Arthur's concerns fall on deaf ears. Instead, Mark slash Stephen is given an alternate quest to find the location of Amit's tomb. Focusing on finding Senfu's sarcophagus. As Mark begins questioning the locals, Layla shows up and agrees to help. Mark isn't exactly thrilled, given their history and what Kansu has planned. Mark dons a new alias as Layla leads him over to see a guy called Anton Mogart. The thing is, Stephen is the one with the knowledge on Egypt but he refuses to divulge it until he gets his body back. The pair do end up arguing and eventually Stephen succumbs and agrees to help. Mogart is smart and stops Mark in his tracks. Holding him up at gunpoint. This is only stopped by Arthur showing up with his cane, seducing Mogart into giving up the tomb. While they're talking, Mark transforms into Moon Knight, hey, couldn't he have done that literally 30 seconds before, and quickly dispatches all the guards, shrugging off several gunshots. We then cut back and forth between Layla dispatching Mogart's bodyguard while Moon Knight takes out the rest of the guards himself. Eventually though he stabs Mogart as he passes on his bike and takes off. More importantly, Layla and Mark manage to take off with the Cloth of Star Constellations. Layla encourages him to let Steven take control. As Steven takes the reins of his own body, he manages to solve the star constellation almost immediately. Instead of leaving and heading home though, Steven doubles down on helping to find Amit's tomb, pointing out that Layla's initial idea to triangulate stars into coordinates is a good one. Stars move over time and the only solution is to use conscious powers to turn back the night sky to how the constellation was originally back then. Conchu's meddling causes the gods to take action as we see them imprison Conchu. Arthur shows up at the pyramid, where the gods confirm that Conchu has been tethered there, like so many before him. Tellingly, Stephen passes out in the middle of the desert but they do learn the location they're seeking, it's 29 degrees north and 25 degrees east.